Hey everybody, it's Keith Dale One Automotive Training Channel, and today we have um, some VCMs. So you can see what's going on with this one. This is a 20, and he writes, 2011 Chevy Equinox, VCM repair slash cloning, does the module talk, yes. Give me the part number. No com with the OG BCM. Replace the BCM and entered the wrong mileage. I need corrected mileage program to the new BCM. So, for clarification, I do not correct mileage at all. I will not do a mileage correction or odometer correction for you at all. Provide me with the original component uh, for me to clone. Because in this instance, I am not doing a mileage correction. I repeat, I am not doing a mileage correction. We are cloning the body control module from one unit to another, and then we have the cluster here as well to see what happens. So, I get so many calls to that already now. No, airbag resets, no. That's, I don't recommend it, I abhor it, I believe it's a terrible practice. You cannot prove that it will happen again, so no. All right, now that I'm done yelling at you guys, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so, here's what we have. We've got a, uh, literally a leg blown off the board here. Let me grab a pointing device. And so right here, right here, yeah, there we go. Um, that leg's missing, completely out of there. It goes to that pad and it's blown off there. And as you can see, this thing sustained a little bit of damage. So let me move it up and then change the focus so you can see it. There's gonna be like this crazy sweet spot that I'm trying to hold it to. All right, uh, I'm, I'm literally holding this with my hand, so it's kind of hard. So there's another pin on the other side that's blown off here too. Sorry it's so shaky, I'm holding it with my hand, it's actually not that shaky, but this is a microscope, so. All right, that's all blown off the board. Let me get this focused back, focus. So this is what we're dealing with, a, a blown up, not really MCU, it's an IO controller, input output controller, it's a big commercial relay basically with a whole bunch, of, it's, a, it's an integrated circuit chip that has a whole bunch of relays. And this one got hot, as you can see, that's gross. All right, so here's what we have. We have the original one setting here that you're seeing on the microscope and we got the donor. Uh, the donor is brand new from GM. I actually have three BCMs, a cluster and a PCM for this car. The point is, is for me to boot it up on the bench and make sure it works. But step one is going to be extracting data out of the original BCM and putting it in the donor BCM and then going from there and seeing what happens. All right, got her off. Set the hot air down. And then, uh, all right, I've still got it in the tweezers. Take this, move that out of the way. Take this. I know you can't see what I'm seeing yet, but I'm trying to. Move it. Give me a second, sorry. Almost. Okay. I literally haven't set it off the tweezers yet. <laughs> and you can see it's stuck to the tweezers. Fun. So, there we go. Ah. Hold up, is this getting kind of confusing? Well, if it is, you guys can head over to l1training.com and I have hundreds of hours of advanced level training. We cover diagnosis, module programming, EEPROM, immobilizer, keys, board repairs, all of the great stuff you guys have questions about at l1training.com. Now you're seeing me fight it. That's annoying. 
All right, we'll just get it close. Kind of close. Blow some hot air on it. It'll liquefy that flux that's on the board. Oh my god. There we go. It's not quite where she needs to be. I don't know if there's enough solder on those pads, because you can see the one. I don't know if you can see what I see, but um, obviously there's enough solder on that pad. But the rest of these, it may not even be making contact. So, well, let's switch over. It's going to be hot as far, so I'll use the tweezers. Pull that up. Hey, get off there. So it's pin one. Put that in the tool. Switch over. We'll see if it reads. If it doesn't read, then, well, it says it read. All right, so hold on one second. Let me, um, yeah, I can't see crap. Hold on. So now I got to go up and click save, browse, OG. Oh, gee. Well, I hope that says saved because I can't read that. Let me look. Sweet. Says has saved. All right. So now that that's the case, we've got th that saved. Now we're going to switch back over to um, off of this piece here. We're going to take that off. That's got the OG chip on it. Um, we'll probably put that back on the board before we ship it out. But first, let's go ahead and hook this up. Now we'll take, that's the OG, it's damaged. Here's the new one, back over here. Connected directly onto it. Okay, let me switch my TV over because I can't see nothing. All right, now I can see. Hey, what do you know? All right, so we saved that. So we're going to go ahead and click read again and click read. You can't see anything I'm doing, can you? No, nope, there you go. So I just clicked read and now it read. Okay, so this one that we just read is the, the donor. Okay, so what we really need to do is go load. Browse, OG, okay, and some stuff changed in here. And then program, 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 it says succeeded. Okay, so it supposedly wrote the OG file to this um, donor board, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and reread, read, back, save, browse, up, Test read. Save as. Okay. And I guess you guys probably know what happens from this point forward. Open up HXD. Go to analysis, data comparison, compare. The top one, going back to GM, BCM. Go to OG. Put the OG in there. Go to put our test read in here. And we're hoping for chosen files are identical. Cool. So, what I read, um, what I read from the chip that I pulled off of the original, and what I read after I wrote that file from the original to the donor BCM are the same. So now this one should be a clone of at least the cal the um, 
the EEPROM data, the non-volatile memory stuff. So the stuff that's like VIN, immobilizer, configuration data, all that in here. Now they already programmed this with SPS, so it actually has the latest calibration as well. And that information is gonna be stored in the MCU. So technically, this should be plug and play and have the corrected mileage. Now, I'm going to hook all the powers and grounds and stuff up here, um, which shouldn't be that hard because I believe I have a cable right here that I've made for them that will fit in, I think, this, uh, from this direction. Oh, maybe not. I probably should look at the cover. Anyways, I may not have one made for this. If I've got one, if this is the correct one for it, then um, it can't be. This is way different connector than these for this 11 Equinox or whatever. Um, because I believe it's the second connector from this side uh, on the face of it, the blue one on the, on the earlier model ones, or late, maybe later model ones. I don't know, for a lot of the BCMs I have. So I gotta find powers, grounds, comms on this one, hook it up on, on a network with the Go Diag, along with uh, the cluster, which they shipped, which got damaged in shipping uh, to me. So that's something they're gonna have to get a replace cover. We've already talked to them about that. They know what's up, but it got damaged in shipping and see if it displays the correct mileage. If it does not, then I need to then uh, sync the mileage from, from the BCM to here, which I am not gonna show you on camera. I'm sorry, that's not something I, uh, it, it, it's something that if in the wrong hands can be put to use incorrectly and I just won't offer it. It's just not an option, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that's what's gonna happen. So uh, hang tight, whoa, you guys probably heard that because I just hit the mic. Hang tight and I will get uh, this hooked up and, and maybe, maybe we'll see that. If not, this is the end of the video. Have a good one, we'll see you next time. So give me a few and we'll see what happens.